Piers Morgan blasted Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's new documentary but claimed it shared one of the truest statements the couple has made. Piers Morgan, 57, cautioned those planning to watch the Sussex's new Netflix documentary that they would need both a sick bucket and tissues for their tears of laughter. While the remaining episodes are expected to drop only next week, Piers has accused the series of being largely comprised of lies. The journalist described it as a predictable, cliché-ridden, simperingly sycophantic snooze fest. However, he claimed the first few episodes do hold one standout statement. He wrote in his column for The Sun, I sacrificed everything I know to join, Meghan's world, Prince Harry, says at one point, in what may be the truest statement either of them makes in their extended disingenuous whine. Piers denoted the couple as nothing more than royal Kardashians, while also saying the Sussexes had less class, loyalty and brains than the famous American family. The journalist insinuated that the pair are trying to make themselves the world's biggest victims, placing them above those affected by the cost of living crisis and the war in Ukraine. The first three episodes of the docuseries were released today. Dividing people across the world as the Duke and Duchess of Sussex's latest comments come to the forefront of pop culture once again. Having seen the series himself soon after it was released, Piers declared it to be somewhat underwhelming when compared to their Oprah interview last year which dropped mostly untrue, truth bombs, like a machine gun, he claimed. However, Piers blasted both their interview and the new series as a disgusting lie. and even referred to his own journalistic work from years ago when the couple first met. He recalled that unlike the description Harry and Meghan give in their series, their marriage was greeted with ecstatic joy. Looking through the archives, Piers shared a piece of his own writing from that time where he said of Harry and Meghan's wedding, it's hard to overstate the significance of this ceremony, beamed live around the world, to black people everywhere.